This is an attachment from May of um, 2021 on reforming the tax code's advantageous treatment of the wealthy. Um, it's being attached to my presentation on the Pandora Papers. Uh, so, the nature of wealth. Money is not only a medium to exchange good, it's also, it is also a decision to exchange power. Power is the ability to demand, resor demand resources and labor. Capitalism seeks to consolidate this power into the hands of the owners of capital. Socialism seeks to distribute this power to society using common action to do so. State capitalism and state socialism are the same thing, with modern mixed economics consisting of private capitalism and social democracy. Karl Marx understood the economics of production. When he wrote, finance was a game, not a science. He had no idea that the boom-bust cycle exists because of the interaction of tax and finance. Modern Marxists are still obsessed with, with rewarding production rather than considering the entire enterprise. Enabling workers are as essential as production from distri distribution to design to marketing. Worse, they're not really giving up up to speed on how the economics of the CEO and tax policy are interrelated or how to go from democratic socialism to the real thing, actual socialism. Uh, you know, people are, most socialists or most Marxists are, have left social democracy in favor of um, cooperatives, uh, but um, they still don't know about tax policy. Social Democrats have no clue um, either. Indeed, most democratic socialists like Bernie Sanders have mostly social democratic tools in their kit. Free college and Medicare for all are not really socialism. They are simply better bird seed. Elizabeth Warren at least admits that she is still a capitalist. So do the social democrats of Scandinavia and Western Europe. Their proposals have no clue on how to get from social democracy to democratic socialism or to the real thing, cooperative socialism. The essential fact of any system that uses money is that money buys work from people. Since work is a function of time, as our lives, money essentially buys people. Um, another way to, to look at money and savings is through class analysis. Savings is the power to make others work without working yourself. When realized, savings pur purchase essentials and luxuries. Even poor people deserve some kind of luxury. Um, again, we buy work, but by work, Capitalists buy work, but work is people, so they buy people. It's slavery. Uh, in an unbalanced economy, the working class do not even receive the essentials. S scarcity in essential goods is the incentive to compel work. Inadequate income is used to compel work on a consistent basis. The argument against guaranteed income is that if work can be compelled, hyperinflation and shortages result. That's, we'll see if that's true or not. Um, so we'll, I suspect it is not. Um, hyperinflation comes from disruptions, as we will find. Um, now back to the text. Uh, the nature of income. Income is the return on assets, including sold labor. This includes the return on taxation of assets. The challenge of our public policy is providing for adequate income and assets for all households so that no worker can be considered someone else's property. How badly we have failed at this is impossible to see until we look clearly at the elements of the supply side. Absolute income is adjusted gross income plus unrealized income. Wealth taxes are an attempt to go after part two in its stored form on an annual basis. They will never pass because if done correctly, the wealth will simply be destroyed. For some, that is likely the goal. If it is done ineffectively by self-reporting or creating loopholes, it's it's, it legitimates assets which have no apparent value. Let me say that again. Uh, a wealth tax will simply say, oh, yes, we recognize that you have wealth and it is a just thing. Um, that's really what it's saying, and you know, I'm not going to agree to that. Thank you very much. Uh, in the macro economy, absolute income is gross national product plus stored future income plus speculative income. Current economic discourse and statistics do not and likely cannot capture the difference between the last two, although looking at income class helps. Uh, so yes, a classist value is important. The inability to separate future spending from speculation 
does not mean we cannot quantify unrealized income. Doing so is why taxing wealth and unrealized income are close to impossible. Here's a hint. It does not really exist. Once that secret is out, capitalism's days are numbered. Unrealized income equals the, the net unrealized gain on traded equity and, se and securitized assets held for less than a year, plus the unrealized net gain on assets held more than a year, plus additions to retained earnings for the year that are attributable to, to shareholders or partners uh, if, it, if it were to be distributed, um, plus increased value in a, year of, in a year of physical assets less their dist distribution expense. Um, all of the above include increased asset values and undistributed earnings for assets held offshore. Um, again, this is done in, on paper and it's a little more understandable that way. Um, asset prices and retained income and asset book values can be value, valued um, and are related, but not mutually exclusive. Asset prices may or not may not reflect retained earnings and physical or and physical or market value of real assets, and may in fact be, be junk assets or fraud. Bonds have the same features and are valuable based on currently expected future income income including whether tax income attributable from holding these bonds can ever be collected. Um, so basically what that means is, you know, they may never be, you know, if it's a federal bond, it may never, ever, 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 ever uh, be taxed uh, or rather ever be returned. So, um, all value is market-based. Now, you know, there's no such thing. I'm not endorsing um, labor theory of value. Um, these values may or may not relate to the um, productive power and the underlying physical and human assets. Mass resignations and innovations may turn today's intellectual property into dust. That is why capitalism is a less than perfect driver of real innovation. Income inequality and hierarchical control are designed to protect against sudden devaluations in both private and state capitalism. Um, individual and cooperative socialist organizations, from communes to partnerships, always threaten intellectual property held by capitalists. You know, if so, if 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 you, it's it's like what happened with Taylor Swift's albums. You know, somebody else held held the. The, the masters she held she held title of the songs and she's re-recording everything uh, anew um, and that can happen with any intellectual property and hopefully it will uh, and at least until it's valued correctly so taxing wealth anything can be that can be valued can be taxed indeed it may even be easier to tax than capital gains which largely rely on self-supporting. Either total wealth and growth in wealth can be taxed in the micro level. Unrealized income can be estimated by the entities owned as of December 31st of each year. Any overlap between stock price and retained earnings can be taken into account. Indeed, reporting this would be beneficial to investors. This is the easy part. The hard part is generating the liquidity to pay the tax. Actually, this is not hard at all. It merely requires the entity owned to write a check. In other words, if you own shares in um, Standard Oil, if you're a Rockefeller, uh, or Ford, or um, what, whichever thing, um, instead of you writing the check for the wealth tax, let the people you invest in write the check. It's a lot easier. Um, you could not tax um, corporate income and the investor's share of it twice. If wealth were to be taxed, it is easier to tax the total value of the entity rather than taxing its owners, and it's much less work. Um, they can even, you know, see, see who's got the most assets and, and filter people out. Uh, so, yeah, it's a lot less work to simply say, you major company, you Amazon, write a check for, your, for the wealth of your owners. Um, now, who shoulders the burden is a more serious concern because of the monopolistic nature of most employment and the monopolistic nature of most goods, the wealthy will not pay for it. First, 
Stock prices will go down to reduce burden. Second, wages will go down. And third, consumer prices will go up. Firms have people who run the numbers and a duty to maximize shareholder value. Indeed, internal rents will increase because the, the labor to make such calculations will be taken from the labor surplus generated from extraction, production, distribution, and enabling work. Um, say that again. There's, there's slack in the system, and the wealthy will just take some of that slack. Um, you know, they, they try to get as much as possible, but, you know, they leave some on the table. They won't leave less on the table. Um, and again, prices go up, and they can. Um, then, you know, they pay nothing. Uh, that's how it really works, and that's why wealth taxes won't. Um, and thus endeth the refutation of um, of wealth taxes. And hopefully you've got something out of it in terms of understanding economics, including uh, the Marxists who watch this video. Um, the part that's important in, in the business cycle, it's not the business cycle, it's not, you know, risks, you know, too many goods or um, what the Federal Reserve does, it's the tax policies. Um, you cut taxes, People invest in garbage. Uh, if, if you increase taxes, like we're about to do, people don't buy garbage um, because they don't, they don't have that much more money. You know, it shrinks the pile to the excess pile of capital in the system, uh, and that means less garbage is built, which means less garbage is sold to those of us who have mutual funds or retirement funds. Um, I've got a good one that doesn't, um, that 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 doesn't buy badly speculated assets. Uh, but you know, when 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 the trash goes out, everybody suffers. So you know, let's let's uh, stop making the trash. Um, thank you much.